Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Melina. I do videos about makeup, plants, my life, and travel. But today, we're gonna talk about plants. Shopping for rare plants. I'm gonna give you some tips that I wish I knew when I was beginning my rare plant journey, where I got these plants, which ones to get, which ones to avoid, and how to be a success, and oh, tongue twister, how to be a successful rare plant grower. If you wanna learn how to get the best deal for your buck on rare plants, please do subscribe. And if you already fell in love with my personality, you could follow me at Melina Glam on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, TikTok, and I believe that's it. But without further ado, let's learn which rare plants you should stick to and what not to buy. What to buy. Okay, you guys, so I'm not gonna make this video really complicated. I'm gonna make it very beginner friendly. So, rare plants, can you find them at Home Depot? For the most part, you can't. There is some plants that are being tissue cultured that used to be, I wouldn't call them rare in nature. They're rare because demand couldn't meet supply. No, supply couldn't meet demand. So that's why they were rare to find, not rare because there's like one in nature. These plants are rare or were rare or they're uncommon because a lot of people wanted them during the pandemic pretty much and supply couldn't meet demand. So these plants got really high. So. The main one, the main, main one is Monstera Albo. I showed it in my last video, Monstera Albo variegated. Oh my God. All your rare plants are mainly gonna be variegated. Variegation is when a plant doesn't produce a lot of chlorophyll on a sec section of the plant and then you get the white in the plant. You get this beautiful white. This is an alocasia fry deck, and usually the leaves come pure green, pure green, but they're velvety. And this one has sections of white everywhere. So this is not very common for the plant to do that. You can't even find the regular one at Home Depot, really. You can find them at plant shops, yes. But this one used to be rare. So now it's come down a lot in price. This used to be like a thousand dollars for two leaves, three leaves. Right now they're in the double digits. You can find them for a hundred, a hundred and fifty. I got really lucky and I got this one for ninety dollars. They wanted one oh five, but I got it for ninety dollars. Please don't tell my boyfriend. Oh my god! And if you're watching this, I'm so sorry, but you owe me. Anyways, um, yeah, um, to not make it complicated, um, just do your research. Go on YouTube, and you're gonna find a lot of rare plants. Just pick the ones that kind of like call to you. Like velvetness calls to me. I like I like a velvet leaf. I prefer alocasias, philodendrons, monsteras. Tip number one, and the main most important tip that I'm gonna emphasize in this video is just go for the established plant. There's cuttings, there's one leaf plants, and then there's established established plants that are already growing in the choice of media that you want so this is pond this is pond it's like a rocky it's a mixture of types of rocks I believe I'm not too sure because 
I don't really use pond, but I love semi hydro. A lot of my plants are growing in LECA or um, Fluvostratum or um, Perlite, even Sphagnum moss here and there. But yeah, I don't like to use dirt because I hate bugs and worms, mosquitoes. And, uh. Anyways, um, so with. Um, Oh, did I say this was perlite? Um, this is stratum with, no, not stratum. Oh my God, this is um, pond. This is called Lechusa Pond, pond. Lechusa is the company, but pond, like it's in a semi-hydro setup, which means that you have your little rocks here or your uh, growing media, and then the plant is growing in these little rocks. And then on the bottom, you have a little water reservoir where it stores the water. Oh my God, I'm making a mess. What do you call this? Oh my God, brain fart. Um, uh, uh. Ah, I can't think of the kind of pot. Um, uh, Self-watering pot, I think, or what are these called? Well, this pot has a little meter that tells you when to fill up the water reservoir in the bottom because it's two pots in here. And oh my God, the leaves are not gonna show you, but it pretty much says um, full and empty. It says full and empty on this little meter. So, oh my God, I love it. Um, usually, you Usually, all these plants come in soil, and if you're like me and doesn't like soil, I like to transplant them. But anyways, um, yeah, I would recommend to get established plants. This is the Variegated Alocasia Fry Deck, and I already have it. If you guys have been watching me, you already know that I have this plant, but I have a little, little baby plant. like. A mini plant and this is where I messed up so this plant I got it for like $300 for like a two leaf baby plant and she's still a baby she's still a freaking baby here here she is this is my variegated alocasia Friday compare this to this like what the fuck what the hell? <laughs> this is the same plant, but as you can see, this one's really variegated and this one's variegated, but it still has the green. So with the variegation, this is ideal because it still produces green leaves, more on the greener side, but you get white leaves and you get like, um, like this one, like this is almost a half moon. So this is pretty stable variegation. As with this one, it's fully white with a little hint of green. Look at that leaf. And this plant is pretty much killing itself because like I told the green parts of the leaves of the plant is the chlorophyll. So the less chlorophyll, the more this plant cannot survive. It has less chlorophyll so it can't feed itself. It can't produce food for itself with sunlight and whatnot. So this plant is literally producing a lot of white leaves, which is making it slow, it, which is making it really slow to grow. And that's why it's so small and it's still producing fairly white leaves. So that's why I'm not getting any growth. I'm not getting anywhere. I've had this plant for two years, I believe, two plus years. What the hell? It's still a freaking baby. Um, <sighs> That's why I said, you know what? I've seen everyone's alocasia fried eggs and they're way bigger than this. And they have the big, mature, beautiful, variegated leaves. And I'm jealous. So I just had to get it. So where I'm going with this, get a big plant. Screw the baby one. I only got the baby one because back then this was $300 for two leaves. Nowadays, three years later, this is $90. Prices have come down. They're still a little bit pricey, but just invest in a more established plant. That's what I'm trying to get to. So tip number two, if you're a beginner or even me, I'm not a beginner. I got this plant on Facebook Market. I love Facebook Market because you get your plant. Just look on your city, type in your city miles that you're willing to drive 
and you can meet and get the plant in person the same day or you can choose if you work on a weekend and you're getting the plant you avoid shipping process and like delays and the plant getting stuck in customs if you choose to import plants look on facebook market they have almost every rare plant you could think of like all the ones i have 90 percent of my plants i found on facebook market so um you get to meet new people like become friends eventually and um i've met this girl that sold me my latest plant which is right here the variegated melano on my latest video she's a sweetheart today i went to my first plant swap because i'm very shy i don't like to go and explore and now like i met a lot of people from facebook groups plant groups i know you guys are thinking like like you're um not a weirdo but you're a plant geek a plant mom yes i am and i'm proud of it um but yeah look on facebook market you guys you get the plant the same day you get to negotiate prices they originally wanted a 105 for this, but I said, um, what's the lowest you can go? Can you do 90? And she said 95. And then I was at the plant swap, and then she said, fine, I'll do 90. And I'm like, okay, let's do this. So I drove to her house and I got it in person the same day. And now I have this beautiful plant with me. So I recommend my number one way of getting rare plants is look on Facebook market. You can get it the same day. But yeah, you guys, Um, what else do I recommend? Um, Full plants, Facebook market. Um, If you're gonna import, please do import on summertime when the weather is good, springtime. Don't do right now, right now it's like winter time christmas hell no um just think of like the cold fronts and all that so avoid importing plants during winter i would not do it and number one do your research get on youtube if you fell in love with a plant let's say you fell in love with the alocasia variegated fry deck the variegated fry deck you fell in love with it do your research, bitch. Get on YouTube. Look at where they grow originally in nature. Do they like a lot of water? Do they not like to be watered at all? Do they like more sun, less sun? Do they like to be near a window? Do they like humidity? Everything, airflow. <laughs> so yeah, look up everything, write it down, like watch videos, I swear. I always invest a lot of time on plants because I love plants. So just because you think they're pretty and you want to get into the hobby, like just make sure to do your research. Take a little time. I'm not saying become a plant geek like me. Like if you like it, these are kind of expensive. So you have to kind of do some research because if not, if you just like water it every month, every time you remember it this shit's gonna die so yeah um take care of your plants um and uh yeah those are the main um tips i could tell you if you want to get a plant like get it in person get an established plant don't get little unrooted cuttings make sure they have roots Number one, make sure they have roots unless you're an intermediate grower and this plant is like a really good price for a cutting, then yeah, I guess I would. But I'm getting established plants. Fuck the baby. F, F the baby plants. I'm done with the baby plants because it's been three years. I'm going for the established plant. Save up your money and get the plant that you want. So yeah, you guys, Um, if you enjoyed this type of video please let me know um i know i promised in my last video that we were gonna put a plant on a pole that video is next that video is next you guys i promise i literally just wanted to show off my new plant i literally just got this at the i didn't get it at the plant swap but i got it on facebook market because the plant swap had baby ones <laughs> 
So I looked on Facebook and I got this whole ass plant for a better price. But yeah, you guys, thanks for watching. I'm Melina and hopefully you stick around and you fall in love with plants as much as I do. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye guys. Oh, she's so pretty.